Hello everyone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again to my lecture video Okay, so in the previous lecture We've already learned on how to Calculate or determine the centroid Of a plate area Okay, this one ah, This one here And in this lecture here We will learn on how to calculate an area Okay, a plate area when the plate area is in the negative region okay so this one here as you can see here the plate area is in positive y region positive x region so what about if the plate area is in negative region so what will happen okay so if you miss this lecture video so please check the link in the description down below okay so let's look at this area here okay now as you can see here so, we have an area in the negative x region. Hmm, this one. Ah. Okay. And just like in the previous lecture, before we start calculating the centroid for this plate area here, we are going to divide this area into common shape. Okay. For example, like this one. How many shapes can you see? Hmm, yeah. So, the minimum is at least 3. Yeah? Okay. 3 shapes that we have here this one which is the square here this one the rectangle and also the triangle okay so means that this is a combination of okay triangle plus rectangle plus uh, square so first let's draw the uh, table first Okay, now we've done creating our table here. Okay, sorry for my bad drawing. Ah. Okay, so just like in the previous lecture, we want to find the, the centroid x for each common shape, centroid y, and the area, and then we want to multiply x with a and also y with a. Uh, okay, so please refer back to the previous lecture ah, okay, to understand why we did like this. Okay, now... Let's look at the coordinate of x for this triangle here. So, for a triangle, as we know from the appendix, okay, if you refer back to the appendix up here, this one here, okay, the coordinate of the centroid is from here until here is b over 3, from here until here is h over 3. So, it means that this one, uh, the location of our centroid for the triangle is this one. Okay, so this one here will be H over 3 and this one here is B over 3. Okay, this is the location. For a rectangle here, okay, we have a rectangle here. So the coordinate is actually at the center of this uh, rectangle. So this one, uh, okay, here. And then for the last part here, okay, the small square here. The centroid is also at the center of this square. This one. Okay. Now, the location of this one, the centroid of this triangle. Okay, if you refer here, so this is the location. For x direction is from this y axis until here, means b over 3. So, what is b? b is 3 meter. Therefore, this one is 3 over 3. So, the value is 1. Okay. And for y wave here, centroid y here, the location is here from x axis up until here is h over 3. So h is 3 also. So 3 over 3 is equals to 1. Okay. Next, what about our rectangle here? Okay, for the rectangle here, the location of centroid x is actually in the negative region of x. Negative region, ah. So means that from here, from y axis up until this centroid point here, okay, the coordinate here is what? This one. Okay, we want to read the coordinate. So what is the coordinate here? So the coordinate here is this one. Negative 
2 over 2 So it is in a negative region So negative 2 over 2 Means that Negative 1 Okay, we are reading the coordinate Okay So if you refer to the appendix here They give you B over 2 Okay, B over 2 means that 2 over 2 Okay, the center here However, what we want to write down in this table here Is the coordinate So means that we need to Make it negative because it is in negative region. So the answer is negative one. Okay, what about y exists? For y exists here, okay, from x exists up until this point here. So it is supposed to be half of the height, and the region is positive region. So three over two is equals to one point five. Okay, now finish rectangle. What about this, uh, ah, sorry, the square here? For the square here, for x, coordinate of x, coordinate of x is here. Ah. Okay, this one. Okay, so we want to read this coordinate. So what is this coordinate? Hmm, okay, so this coordinate here, if you can see here, from here until here is negative 2. And then from here until half of this one here means this one is negative 2. 5 so negative 2 negative 2 and then minus again negative 1 over 2 so we will get negative 2.5 okay the location of centroid x for this square here is negative 2.5 okay we are reading the coordinate okay and then for y here is this one ah, half of the height here Okay, from x exists up until here. So, it means that this will be 0 0.5. Hmm, okay, so this is the most, this is the important part. Ah, where you are not just reading the appendix here. Just put the value. Okay, what is B, what is H. No, ah, we are trying, actually, we want to read the coordinate, the location of the centroid for each common shape. Ah, that is the main key point. Okay, when we want to calculate the location of the centroid for the whole area. Okay, let's uh, calculate the area for all these common shapes. Okay, now we have all the value of the area, 4.5, 6 and also 1. Okay, if you refer back to the previous lecture, when we... For the area here, we need to consider whether we want to add the area or whether we want to remove the area. So, in this condition, nothing to be removed. Okay, we just add everything. We add a triangle, we add a rectangle and then we add a square. So, it means that all of this area will be positive. So, in the previous lecture, some of the area we need to remove. So, in that situation, the area becomes negative. Okay, the area that we want to remove becomes negative. Negative, uh, okay. So in this uh, case, so all of it is positive. Now we move on to x a and also y a. So as mentioned earlier, also very simple. You just multiply this one with this one, okay. And then if you look here, we have negative one here, okay. Negative one and six. So means that you need to maintain this negative here, okay. Also, this one also negative 2.5 and area is 1. So, you need to maintain also this negative here in your calculation. Okay, let's calculate XA and also YA. Okay, now we've done calculating the value of XA and also YA. Okay, for all common shapes. And when we want to calculate the centroid of this common shapes here, we will use this equation. Okay, let's copy this equation. Ah. Okay, this equation here. Okay, let's make it large. Okay. So, we will use this equation. So, the total of XA divided with the total of A. Okay. Total of YA divided with total of A. So, means that we need to find the Total value, okay, all, all of this. Okay, let's find the total value. Okay, so now we've done calculating the summation of A, summation of XA, and also summation of YA. So what to do next? 
you just put all the values here into these two equations to find centroid x and also and also centroid y for this common shape or area okay now we finished calculating okay the value of centroid x and also the value of centroid y hmm, okay so this is how you can calculate the centroid when the sum of the part here is in the negative region okay make sure you include also this one ah negative also you must consider the coordinate okay you cannot just simply refer to this uh, appendix here and just put the value okay no okay we must consider the coordinate if negative negative okay and then when we want to calculate uh, xa and also ya make sure you include the negative also in your calculation okay do not exclude yeah so that's all for today see you again in the next video bye bye